Here's an AMI This Week shortcut with Alex Smythe. So Miss Wheelchair audience is... B. My name is Bean Gill and I'm Miss Wheelchair Canada 2018. Miss Wheelchair Canada is a pageant for female wheelchair users that focuses on inner and outer beauty and strength. It's aimed at breaking barriers and changing the image surrounding women with disabilities. The pageant itself was a great experience. I was overcome with emotion and just, you know, really grateful for the opportunity and very grateful for the platform that it's going to give me to share my story and to help change the stigma of people with disabilities. Bean's mom, Raminder, remembers the crowning moment vividly. I felt very proud and I, you know, very, very proud that she, the, the situation she was in and then how she came out and, you know, and she put, put herself out there and she was crowned Miss Wheelchair Canada 2018 and that was the proudest moment in my life to see her wearing a crown. So how did this chapter of Bean's life begin? I was in Las Vegas in July of 2012 uh, with my friends for her stay get. And I woke up on Friday the 13th and that was the last time I ever walked. Within 10 minutes of sudden and extreme pain and prickly sensations in her back and legs, Bean was paralyzed from the waist down. I did fall into a deep depression and I think that's normal for somebody who has such a traumatic experience and I think you have to go through the dark side to get to the other side. It's just getting to the other side is the difficult part. My whole family was affected by this. It's not just one person, it's your, everyone around you is affected by your disability. Nothing holds her back and she wants to be on her own as much as possible but with her being in a wheelchair it's kind of a little bit difficult. And so the first thing was, how are we gonna make our house accessible? How are we gonna make this work? Or do we have to sell it and get another one? Bean and her mom have recently decided that moving is best for Bean's independent lifestyle. So this is the last box from your room. Okay. Put all the stuff back in there. So my current house, the inaccessible features are many. Uh, my makeshift ramps, the 16 stairs that stopped me from going to the laundry room. In the kitchen, I have to wash dishes sideways because I can't access the bottom of the sink. So in the new house, what I'm really looking forward to is the lift in the garage, the elevator inside the house, the stove will be going up and down on a hydraulic lift. There is nothing underneath the kitchen sink so I can roll under to wash dishes. I have a roll-in shower and I'm able to access the whole house, which is the biggest um, part that I'm looking forward to. So squeezing both sides of your abs, lifting your arms up and back down. Bean's commitment to recovery and working out led her on a new path. But re-establishing independence was just one part of the equation for Bean. I had dedicated my life to my recovery and I didn't know where my career was going or what my career was going to be. And so after seeing that there was a need here for a center that primarily focused on neuro recovery, I partnered up with my trainer and we opened Ryu Paralysis Recovery Center in April of 2017. And just have maybe have a chair behind her or something yeah, yeah, for safety. Something so, so she feels comfortable. The services that Ryu provides are focused and specific to the individual. An example of its demand and success is the 60 client roster and the growing waiting list. Bean is thriving and has made a real difference in the lives of many. 10 seconds. Your shoulders back. Ten, nine. I don't feel people should be defined by their disability, right? Nobody asks for a disability. It's, you're either born with it or you're, it's thrust upon you, which isn't always a bad life. It's a different life. It just makes me so proud that, you know, somebody who's herself in a wheelchair and, you know, she has the courage to go out and, and help other people and, you know, just change the stigma of people with disabilities. Winning Miss Wheelchair Canada has helped Bean's voice be heard. So the platform has helped me share my story and I hope it will help other people who are living with disabilities see that their dreams can come true as well and that they can make an impact. One person can make a difference and so if me being Miss Wheelchair Canada and sharing my story inspires at least one other person to do the same, then uh, my heart is full.